That's all I never wanted to. He took you in, and you took his life. I didn't want anything to hurt. I didn't want any bad thing to hurt happen to him, sir. But at the same time, best friend was about to turn into a mindless freak, freak, freak. Help someone when the fucking day. Anyone else? Have you lost anyone close to you? Apart from their family, friends? No, um, no, sir. Okay. And would you kill again? Kill again? Kill again? Kill again? Oh, Dr. Han, you have arrived. Uh, this way. Oh. My apologies, sir. Sorry, uh, he said second floor. Gotta go back to him. Uh, let's let's oh. take him down here actually. Save us some time. Apologies. I'm just uh, a little nervous. Here we go. Go inside, face the wall. Do not turn around. Yes, sir. Okay, bandage him up. Handcuff him and resuscitate him. Actually, don't handcuff him, we need him to put this stuff on. Michael? Yes, sir. Stand up and put that. Yes, sir. Top on, okay. Please handcuff him. Um, if you wanna say hello.
please step forward. What is your name? Michael Robbins, sir. What are you doing here, Michael Robbins? I started out as a walk through the woods, and my curiosity grew, so I just wanted to see what you guys are about. And no, I had no malicious intent. See what we're about. Yes, sir. Have you any idea now that you're here, what we may be about? A little bit, sir. Do you know where you are? The prison? Do you know who we are? No, sir. You have no idea at all. I mean... I I have an idea, but I don't know if it's confirmed or not, sir. Well, that's what I asked you, Michael. Apologies, sir. Do you have an idea who we are? Red Star? That is correct. Did the doctor go over questions with you earlier? Mm, yes. Yes, sir. Am I to be certain that you answered them all truthfully? Yes, sir. I did. Going over the doctor's notes. It seems that uh, you had an acquaintance named Dakota Smirnoff. Yes, sir. I did. And what became of this Dakota? Well, right now he's... Six feet under the ground. And what happened? I came from uh, Chinaris. There was this half freak virus going around where it turned people into seems an early stage of the infection. And Dakota got got infected by the virus, and he was turned. We were with the uh, group. How did he get infected? Sport. He um, he was, I believe, what he said was that he came into contact with one of the half freaks. He took it down, but he got hit by it. Are you afraid of the dead? Every day, sir. And yes, I am. Are you afraid of? What men can do to you? All the time, sir. Surely you've not been by yourself all this time. No, sir. So I, you have uh, grouped up? Yes, sir. With who? Conky Lions, sir. Tell me, are you the one of the ones that come by here, leave little gifts, scurry through the woods and the tree lines? No, sir. Then who is it? I do not know, sir. I have been hearing uh, reports that other people have been coming through in and out of here. I've only been to these woods, I believe, three times now? Tell me the names of the ones that have been coming up here. Well, I know one from you guys. Uh, Patrick was his name. Uh, I believe what he told me was that he got pot shots from this area, and he just dipped. The other guy was, um, Gas from JTF. Are we
we getting this? Pardon me, Dr. Mulkina. Uh, did he say that he's never been up here before? Is that what you're saying, Michael? Through the prison? Like, around it, or... Apologies, I'm just... Even come <laughs> close up to it. Yes, Must once hear. I have. Oh, close to it, him. yes, once. And then today was the second time. He says by the name... A gentleman by the name of Patrick has been up here. Squandering around. And he believes two other members also. But I think you're going to give me those names, right, Michael? Yes, sir. So who are the two other members? He said that it was Patrick and Gas. The other guys, Gaz. I don't know. I don't know if there's you any other... You don't know the other... men in your group? Well, I do. Oh, I, I apologize. I didn't, I didn't know that you were, you, were, you were saying that, sir. I apologize. Men in my group, my, uh, there's Ja, Ezekiel, and then Roland. We used to have two others, but they, uh, they went to separate ways. I don't know where they're at now. Are you afraid of dying? Yes, sir. I've been, uh, I stepped on the death's doorsteps four times already, sir. see these group of men that you stay with how do you feel about them honestly I want to get out That's of all it. I ask honestly Why? I want to get, I want to get out of them like I don't want to be with them anymore just what do they do to you well they always just you know always just rude to me at times and whenever I accidentally do something wrong they yell at me rather than you know try to explain to me what I did wrong because sometimes I don't realize I do something wrong well Michael this is not a time for you to be fucking up and doing wrong shit is it we're past yes, that sir. already you haven't come this far and survived by fucking up have you no sir so you can see why your members of your group might be agitated with you. Yes, I understand. That kind of shit is not tolerated here in this facility. Yes, sir. I just... Can you imagine if these guys went on just like you? There are things that are going to be done today. Things you may not like. Things you may not be used to. Far worse than what's out there, I assure you. But make no mistake. Today, you will come out of this for the better or for the worse and whether you decide you want to be dragged out or walk out on your own two feet will be up to you. Yes, sir. Okay, I think I've had enough of his lies. Let's take him to the surgery room. Doctors, can you hear me? I can. Right. I'll repeat myself now, due to me not speaking aloud. 
Lie down up on your stomach and face Brian, Michael. I'm asking politely. Look, apologies, I didn't hear Lie down, didn't hear down. Lie down on your stomach and face Brian over there. You see Brian, the cuddly bear. Thank you. Thank you for reiterating. Hang on. Hey, Doctor, is the charger ready? Way up to your head on the brain. So, hi, let us say music ready when you're ready. Let us play a little and then I'll begin. Start at twenty five, I believe it's set. Here we go. Yes. Charge is ready. Now let's work our way to your spot. Oh. Oh. To you want us to I stop? I can see it. Huh. Can you? The last man that said that was in for a rude awakening. He never walked off of this table. He was dragged out. Forty-five it is. Do 
do you know what happens to the human brain when electricity is flow through it at a maximum voltage? It fries, it cooks inside like a pot. Is that what you want with your brain? Is no, that sir. what you want to happen to you? No, sir. Would you like to smell your own brains cooking within your skull? No, sir. Would you like to go 50%? You said you could take it. I think perhaps myself and everybody would like to smell some cooking brains. How about you? No, sir. Would you wish to go to 50%? I say yes. God damn it. Fifty percent, Michael. I think you need a dose to sixty. Doctors, turn it up to 60 for me. Charges turn up. Now, Michael, the last man on this table, <laughs> you know where he was from. Where was he from, sir? Detroit. He thought he was Detroit strong and requested 100%. Needless to say, as he didn't walk out of this room. He never reached 100. You can request all the votes that you want. But you and I know that you'll break before you even get to a hundred. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to max you out at this voltage. But this session will be a longer one. As I know, you will not be able to take it. Thus resulting in the beginning stages of frying your brain. Please. No, I want to live. I just I'm just sure you do. Live. Everybody on this table wants to live. I it is only then to. when you give that up when you realize that your life means nothing. That you are not in control. It is only then that you can truly live. Here we go. Six, six. You know about why you're here.
speak. The doctor is talking to you. I'll fry your fucking brains right here and now. Alright. I've been here before to see what this place was. And I came back to my group about it. They told me don't go they told me don't go back ever again or else they put a bullet in my head. And nobody was around. So I decided to just go over and do it again. But I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have made the same mistake again. I should have just walked away when I had the chance. It was stupid of me to do that. Very stupid. Now I'm based on the price. Don't you see, Michael? Everything we do have consequences. But you have given us opportunity to dive into different experiments different testings. You have brought yourself as a gift to us. Continue. Tell us more. Is that all? Uh, of why perhaps we, we should it? take him to the third floor and grab a sack and a water container. I yes. help him uh, utilize his limited breath, my wise leg. Ah, Dr. Moscow. Not yet. Uh, you can introduce yourself to yeah. our latest fly. Yeah, of course. I love it there. Uh, uh, you have a most splendid body. Oh, those muscles. Mm. Oh. oh, how I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> Dr. Mosca. Yes. Do you smell that? Subject. Subject. Subject was able to reach 80 percent, I believe. On the voltage. Oh, need a, a sack in the water container. Uh, possible brain damage. No. But the smell was slight. I figured you would uh, be able worry. to pick that up. <laughs> he withstood the electrocution. Ah. The possibilities. It's almost so orgasmic. Mm -hmm. The corpse, the muscles, being able to withstand such current. I'm. Oh, I must take a look at them. At. At the. Oh, I can't wait. The muscles, the gleam of the blade with the blood dripping off it. Can't say oh, will be right. Okay, Vasily, can you get this dog from the table and uh, take him up to his kennel now. on the third? Uh, I'll have my time. <laughs> Marvis. Marvis. Come on, come yeah. follow me, Fido. Oh, apologies. What did you do uh, with the pot from earlier? Pot's in the corner, over there where the tent was. You seem yes. to be taking a very strong interest in this one. The possibilities uh, of the resistance to the electron, uh, the torture. Oh, the possibilities in my research are endless with that, if I can get yeah. it. But... Is there anything you want to try on them? For permission to speak? Suppose we have a charged implement. If I stuck it in certain places, what that would reveal <laughs> if certain areas were more resistant than others. 
that would make the uh, fine tuning of my cutting process a lot more worthwhile. We've done a full head to toe, but disregarding all orifices. Mm -hmm. Were there any that were that made the patient more uh, excited than usual? Only the head. The head and nerves. I know. If we were to uh, save the corpse after we were done with it, I definitely would like to examine the muscles and the nerves connecting to the brain stem. I don't know if the doctor has an idea of where this subject will be going. Uh, he hasn't told me anything yet about him, but in the event that his body can be disposed of, I see no reason why you can't further your research on him. Mm -hmm. Why let it go to waste after all? Exactly. No body is so waste in my... But, um... <clears throat> uh, we're about to extract in the information. Have you tried the, uh... similar aspect of perhaps a small lighter I was more referring to burning the victim. Uh, slightly. Not as so much as to damaging the uh, subject. Merely tempting fate, as it were. We have tried that before. With flares burning the skin. Hmm. It seems more of the internal experiments we get out better result in internally meaning uh, electrocution and the frequency right see mm. if you wish to conduct more physical on the dermal part by all means I'm sure there's no objections well, well of course not of course, there's a few ideals I have in mind for this subject. Mm. Very well. Let me grab Let some tools. Upstairs. Yeah, um, just so you're both aware, once we've extracted information we can from this subject, um, we're going to execute them in a in a matter that we can record and use. Are we going to do the firing squad? Yeah. Good. Hello. <clears throat> um, I'll ready the bell. <laughs> yes. There's a couple ways we can do it. Either we can just, just you know, have everyone lined up, or, or you know, we could have one of you gentlemen, or myself, if you guys didn't want to put your face on it, stood beside him, and bang, shoot him, and as he falls down, then everyone lays into him when he's on the floor, you know? No survivors. Or mm -hmm. we just do it the good old-fashioned way. Okay, that's, um, I say we get him against the wall. Let's get going with this. We need to Go stand up. Boss man. Face me. Actually, kneel down and face me. No, no fucking dog. Yeah, I need to look up in there. I'm gonna explain to you what's gonna happen. Plain and simple. A bag's gonna be put over your head. Each time it's put over your head, water will be poured onto it, making it difficult to breathe. I will ask you a question, and as the sack comes off. You will answer it truthfully. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. The 
这里。Michael, why are you here? To get information. With, uh, with how you went against my orders. I wasn't supposed to get information. But I went against my own orders. Well, from Jaws. He told me not to come back. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want anything bad to happen to me. But I came back anyways. Yeah, so... Right, does he put the, the sap back on? So Michael, you weren't ordered to come here for information. You're saying you're doing this on your own accord? Yes, sir. Oh, oh shit. I'm, I'm so being 100% honest. Subject, uh, 122, come here. After each answer, I want you to hit. Well, as gently as one can be. <laughs> Not that hard, you fucking jammy yeah, dodger. <laughs> take the sack off. Michael, tell me. Who are the Red Star? Red Star. They're... Honestly... I don't know what they are. I just heard stories of them. Your worst fucking nightmare, put the sack back. Michael, I'm gonna ask you again. Why are you here? To gather information, Let's Keep sir. our heads cool. Anyone else have anything they wish to say? Or ask? Mr. Robin's here. This fucking dog. Oh, my question's we... definitely answered. How are we about done, sir? Uh, was that sir? I said, are we about done, sir? Sorry? Has he served his purpose? About done, yeah. So, now's your time to speak or forever hold your peace. Just, yes, do you mind if I take this bag off? Look at me, Mr. Michael. Do you recognize me? Is that... Is that me? you? Perhaps uh, when I talk... <clears throat> as David the businessman from down south. Oh my god. I... <laughs> Can you folks hear me? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Say cheese for the picture. Click. Oh, there we go. How about this? Do you recognize me? No, sir. You shot at me about two weeks back. We fired a warning shot. And you returned fire about ten minutes later. I got a picture of you, if you don't believe me. It's somewhere no. around here. I think I remember what you were wearing. I remember that black top. Yeah. Ah, now you remember. Now he remembers. <laughs> well, I don't know. I have the questions. Hmm. I see. I can't think of anything. Anything to do with with the 
fact he was on the original list that you haven't done yet, yet or are we his business concluded we can set him free I agree, but I just want to ask you one more time. Michael, why are you here? Scan information on Red Star, sir. Doug, mm -hmm. may have your yes. sample sooner than later. Oh. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll talk uh, afterwards, eh? mm -hmm. sure. Yes. Dr. Moscow, why don't you tell Mr. Robbins what you're going to do with this corpse? Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen here, my, my beautiful subject. Once your corpse is uh, gone through the phases that we have set, I'll let my glorious hands, caress it, and make it new, and your body will serve a greater purpose, the best purpose it can possibly serve, and I, I will be one step closer, <laughs> one step closer, oh, how I can't wait for that. Glorious moment where I get to look at you from the inside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. From the inside. Like nine, nine. <laughs> You're about to die. I'm about to die. Gentlemen, Marvis. shall we escort him? Why? Let's escort him. Oh. Right, Michael. I'm going to show you something when we get to where I'm taking you. Come down here. He'll let you walk at your pace. A nice day outside, isn't it? I grew up in this country. Where did you grow up? America. I grew up. Yes, sir. Tennessee. Now tell me, in Tennessee, are there nice, sunny days like this one? Mm, yes, sir. It's beautiful up there. It's beautiful down here. Exactly. Glad that we can uh, That's why I went to the woods. That's why I went to the woods. Oh, because it reminded me of Tennessee. It was a nice sunny day. Yeah. Okay. okay. I appreciate your cooperation. Look. Hang on. I'm going to uh, ask you to read out what's on this note. Now give me a sec just to make One, sure. Two, two. Right. Well, if you want to cry, feel free to cry. Perfectly all right for men to cry. Michael, have you read it all? Can you memorize it? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Doctor, you in position with the camera? Yeah, I'm in position. Doctor Ham, you in position with the bell for once? It is concluded. Yes. Doctor Moscow, you comfy? Comfy? Be comfortable? Mm. 
well, as comfortable as you can be for now. now. Right. Well, Michael Robbins of the Conquering Lion. Feel free to count to five and begin reading aloud of what that piece of paper said. Okay, starting in five, four, four, three, two, one. My main name is Michael Robbins. My group, the Concrete Lions, instructed me not to come to the person occupied by that red star. They said if I was to do so, they would shoot me for putting them in the red star's crosshairs. I went against their advice. I snooped around where I didn't belong, and now you can see where I've ended up. Only through blood would the red star rise. All I have to say is that the red star will rise. It will rise through blood. Sit back and relax. This Say hi to Mr. Fuck you. Doctor. Fuck you. The screwdriver's there. 